And I didn't realize that that's like a weird combo. Um, my wife, Shelby, when I met her, she was like surprised that to have a family of athlete artists. Um, and so it was just kind of like that competitive edge. And then also art. I started to apply competitive thinking to art. Um, and like, I remember like for my dad, um, one of the like big kind of moments that I just remember going, Oh, this is how things work was, um, I would go up to his classroom when I was a kid and he'd have like, uh, different lessons on the board and stuff. And this was beginning of like fourth grade. So I was like nine and, um, he had on the board proportions of the human head just like drawn up. And I remember seeing that and asking him about it. And he, that was when he told me like, you know, your eyes are halfway down your head. And I was like, no, they're up here. And, you know, and he was like, no, 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 trust me. And so then I like the next day, it was really weird. The next day in school, we had a project where we had to draw a classmate. And so I just was like, okay, human head proportion. We're going to draw this guy. And it looked, you know, fourth grade version, but it looked like him. And it was kind of the only one that didn't have, you know, arms coming out of the side of their head and that kind of stuff. And I just remember going, oh, okay. The, you know, you just kind of do, first off, listen to the people who know what they're talking about. Yeah. And two, there's there's like a, a analytical way of doing things similar to sports. Like, you know, you, like I played football. So it's like, you try to block somebody, they get around you and you ask your coach, what did I do there? And then they go, Oh, try this next time. And then it works. And then, um, another thing is my mom's dad is an engineer. So I got like this really, I think like analytical side of my brain from him. And so it was just kind of this like mix of like how I got into it from my dad, but then I took it the direction I did because of that. And then my mom has always had this attitude like her. I don't know if you call it motto, but she always says where there's a will, there's a way. So I always looked at things and went, if that guy can do it, I can figure it out. And so mm -hmm. I go, it was more of a matter of how do I do that rather than, you know, can I do it?